have here a 1964 left-handed custom order Fender Stratocaster with custom order tortoise shell grain pick guard. And for contrast, a 1965 standard issue Stratocaster with the typical greenish white guard that was used up until mid-65, after which they went to just a dead white rather than this greenish white. Left-handed instruments were available on special order, and the tortoise guard, as I said, was a special order feature. The left-handed instrument basically is the same as the right-handed version, but a mirror image. They are extremely rare. In spite of the fact that there's a goodly number of left-handed people, there's not very many who play guitar left-handed. Even most left-handed guitar players learn to play right-handed. Their teachers find it easier to teach right-handed. And many left-handed players find that if they haven't ever played a guitar before, both hands are doing something. And many of these people are perfectly comfortable playing right-handed if they learn that way, including some extremely fine players. For example, one of the best jazz players in recent memory, George Van Epps, whose father was the great five-string banjo player Fred Van Epps of the turn of the century on up to about 1950, said that being left-handed was great. It put his best hand on the neck where it belonged. But not all people feel that way. Jimi Hendrix was a great player who could play both ways, but he was far more play comfortable playing lefty. And I've encountered a fair number of people who told me that they tried and tried for years to learn to play right-handed, but the moment they flipped one over and played it lefty, they were instantly more comfortable. So it doesn't work for everybody. But the fact is the number of left-handed vintage electric and acoustic guitars is very small. They're few and far between. Percentage-wise, there are far more left-handed instruments made today than were back in the 1960s and earlier. And the number of people who play guitar left-handed as a percentage of guitar players is far less than the number of people in the population as a whole who are indeed left-handed, probably a full order of magnitude less for people who learn to play left-handed. So this is a very rare collectible guitar, and if one has the, what I consider to be misfortune to be a left-handed player, this is sure enough an item that would be in demand. And the reason I consider it to be a misfortune to be a left-handed player who plays lefty is that you're in a world full of right-handed guitars that you can't play. If you enjoy collecting or you enjoy simply sampling a wide taste palette range, then if you play left-handed only, you're in a room full of stuff that you can't consume. It'd be like having some rare disease where you could digest only a very, very few types of food and you would starve to death in a room filled with delectable goodies that you couldn't digest. But if indeed you are a left-handed player and you're looking for the right lefty, here is one. It's a fine instrument built to the same quality standards, but a mirror image of the right-handed model. Pre-CBS, 1964, left-handed Fender Stratocaster.